What's up, YouTube? What's up, the squad? It's your boy Travis checking in. And you back with uh, Life of Looch. And uh, we're going to do some thoughts and opinions today. Uh, first on the list, we got uh, Omi the Haircat. Now, uh, Omi the Haircat, it's been a couple of years. And he finally was sentenced to 66 months in uh, federal prison. He got 60 days to turn himself in. Um, a lot of people who follow him know what's going on. A lot of people who don't follow him is basically probably like, so why he getting 66 months, which is five and a half years? Um, he had this thing called Gears TV and Reloaded TV where he was uh, doing the... Uh, the bootleg, basically the bootleg, internet and cable, and he was selling it for like fifteen dollars, and where you can get all the channels, all the pay per view, everything, all that stuff, and that's illegal. And he got hit with tax evasion too, wasn't paying his taxes. Now what? What kills me is, I really didn't think he had that kind of money. You know, I, th I thought. I really was looking at it like, okay, how is he getting out of these cars? Is he maybe, you know, borrowing cars from the you know dealership and stuff like that? But dude gotta pay ten million dollars back in restitution. That's part of his fine, part of his penalty. He, he said they already got that money. He also owed the IRS five million dollars. So you gotta pay fifteen million dollars back. So if you have to pay fifteen million back, that's saying that's letting you know how much money he worth or how much he had. What I'm tripping on is this is some weird shit that I've never seen. Most people do YouTube because they're trying to come up or, you know. I've never seen, and not 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 necessarily, not necessarily me trying to come up, because everybody who broke don't do YouTube. But I've never seen a multi-millionaire wake up one day and say, "You know what? I want to do YouTube. I want to make car videos." Like, if you're making that kind of money, dude, you got too much other shit going on. You got too much time. On, you got too much other shit going on to be worried about doing YouTube videos about some cars. Like, he really exposed himself to the public, to the feds, to the IRS, to, because you let them people in your business. You let them know everything you had going on. You let them know all the money you had by buying all them damn cars. You got 30, 40 cars parked in your yard. It's like, come on, on me, like, you gotta be smarter than that. And my G, like, I don't get it. That man really had millions of dollars and decided to pick up the camera one day and say, I wanna be a YouTuber. I wanna let every, I wanna let the feds and everybody else into my life and show them how much money I really have that I can't prove. That's basically what the bottom line is. You want to show everybody how much money you got that you can't show no proof of because it wasn't legitimate money being made. It wasn't a, it wasn't a legitimate business. That's weird as hell. That's like being a dope dealer. And they decide to say, you know what? I want to wake up tomorrow and I wanna do YouTube. And still sell dope on the side, but I wanna do YouTube. Like, it makes no sense at all, man. Uh but let, let's hope let's hope he um cause I think fans is what you do eighty percent of that time. So you have five and a half years. He'll probably do about three and a half. You know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't 
I ain't got the kind of time to be giving giving the feds. I ain't got the time to be giving the state. I ain't got the time to be giving nobody. I'm not giving. I'm not. I, I ain't, I'm not giving the government no time, man. Uh, first of all, we getting to we getting to. If you pass thirty, bro, then you get too old to be going to prison or jail. If you get too old to be doing that, cause your life basically starts over. When you get out of prison, man, your life pays to start over. Like everything, you go, you go to jail now for five years, and you got and shit changed. Everything done changed. Technology done changed. Where you live done changed. It's like you gotta start all over again. It's like you're a child. You gotta go live with somebody, your parents or your your spouse, or you gotta start all over again. Everybody got that kind of time, man. But I wish him the best, man. And uh, I hope he just learned from this situation. And um, I hope he got some money to put away also. I hope he let them folks freeze his money, all his money. I hope he took some money away so he has some when he get out. But um, let me know what y'all think about this situation, man. Like, why would you be making millions of dollars illegally and then decide one day you just want to pick up the camera and be a YouTuber? Like, that's the dumbest shit in the world to me. But let me y'all thinking. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next Thoughts and Opinions video. Peace.